question. How's it going guys? So today we are going to be going over how to color grade like the famous Christian Mott Grab. We're going to color grade from his last video that you saw, which was in California, where he used a Canon 80D LED. If you guys haven't checked him out, I'll leave the link in the description. Go check him out. He's amazing. His color grading is phenomenal. I did buy the LUT so I could do this tutorial, but if you want the exact LUT, please go check it out. It's worth the five euros. So without further ado, let's jump into Premiere Pro and let's get to it. <laughs> So we're in Premiere Pro right now and as you can see I have this footage and this adjustment layer here all it is is some corrections because I shot my footage in S-Log and so without this if you guys can tell it's very flat. So I just brought it together with some basic contrast and highlight shadows nothing too big here and I'll even show you exactly what I added. And uh, here are some different, I bumped up the contrast crazy. So when you go to color grade and you go to apply these LUTs, you gotta remember that they're all gonna be a little different. So you're gonna have to tweak them a little bit based on what picture profile you're using, what camera you shot with, the type of day, the scenery, stuff like that. So just keep that in mind. But with this footage, I shot it in S-Log, so I had to take out that flat image at the beginning so we can color grade this. So, in basic correction, what we're going to do here is to get this Canon 80D 2018 LUT look. What we're going to do is we're going to bump up the highlights here. There, there looks about good, 77.6. Let's bring down the shadows a little bit. Yeah, maybe the 15 sounds good. Whites, we're going to drop as well. Say right about, I like that right there. And then blacks, we're going to drop as well maybe 43 isn't bad there we'll good saturation we're going to drop as well to about 75 close enough so now something to consider here is that there's obviously going to be multiple ways on how to create this LUT and so this way probably and most likely is not the exact way Christian actually creates this LUT but messing with different tabs can do the same effect depending on which one you add first and which one you start off with first. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this. All right, so let's drop down to creative here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to add some faded film. Let's add about 60. Uh, sharpening, let's add about 20 here. Vibrance, no, saturation will leave. Highlight, we're just going to ever so slightly this is this is a key here ever so slightly just drop down the highlights to teals so like maybe one or two and shadows let's bring over to the blues and let's go maybe like one or two clicks so minimal because it it, it changes it so drastically you want to make very minimal changes and let's bump this tint balance over to 58 ish maybe that looks about good, 59-ish. And what this is saying is that this tint balance is going to favor in the side of the shadows instead of the highlights. So the highlights won't be as strong as the shadow tint. All right, so we've just done creative. Let's drop down into curves here. And this is where a lot of the magic actually happens here because it's a little complicated. So what we're going to do is we're gonna start off with basic curve line here and it's almost like an S curve what we're gonna be doing. Close, not exact here, but we're going to actually bring this down. We're going to bring this up. And I'm actually going to mess a little bit around here. I'm going to drop this a little more. Bring that up just a tad here. Um, and to be honest, the way you figure these things out is just by messing with it and having to make minimal changes. But this is the S-curve that I kind of like here. We're actually then going to go into the reds, where we're also going to change here. And this is very minimal as well. And I'm actually going to create multiple points within here because it's such 
small changes that make a difference here. And uh, I'm actually gonna move this one down, drop this ever so slightly. And as you can tell, I mean, it's almost minuscule, like you can't even tell pretty much. And I'm actually going to bump up the highlights a little bit. And I'm going to bump this down a tad. All right, I'm liking that so far. So let's move into the green curve here. And if you guys don't know already, and you don't know how to color grade or color correct, please check out the link above. I'll put a, ta a tag in right up here somewhere um, to go check out an easy way to color correct. And I kind of explain what all of these mean and how to use them. But let's go into green now and let's do the same thing here. Da, 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 da. And we're actually going to drop the highlights just a tad. I want to raise the mid-tones a little bit here. And then I'm actually going to raise darker mid-tones right about there. And as you can see, it's it's such, such, such small changes. I think that's one of the biggest keys to take out of this is how small changes it actually is. So the blues, there's not too much going on here, except what we're gonna do is we're just going to drop the highlights over this green line like that, bam. So curves is pretty much good here. The last thing is we're gonna mess with the hue saturation curve. And we're actually going to kind of bump up the oranges and the reds here. Mostly the oranges and then we're going to, oopsies, we're going to drop these greens right in here and desaturate the greens. As you can tell, that's looking very moody so far. It's looking good. So let's move on and let's go to the color wheel now. We're in the color wheel, like one click down, one click down and the mid tones, we're gonna go one click. Up. I mean, it is so small, you you probably won't even know a difference, but raise the shadows like one click and the highlights we're going to keep the same. Okay, color wheels is good. Let's drop down to the HSL secondary and we are then going to click on the reds here. So. Let's come down and let's actually go to the three. And now just like the color wheels where we messed with the highlights, shadows, and midtones here, these are gonna be messing with the highlights, shadows, and midtones of the color we selected. So we selected red. It's gonna mess with just the red. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually bump up the highlights like one click, bump up the midtones one or two clicks, and the shadows one click. And that's gonna kind of bring out the leaves a little bit more and emphasize them. And we're gonna actually bring the shadows down like two clicks and bump up the highlights about in the, about right in the middle of the yellows right here. We're gonna come down to contrast and we're gonna bump contrast up to, I don't know, let's say about 30. And let's go to sharpening, maybe, and eh, no, we already added sharpening. Don't add sharpening. Let's go to saturation. Let's desaturate maybe down to about 90 here. All right, guys, so that is the tutorial. I hope you liked that. How to color grade like Christian Matt Grab. Now, is this the exact way that he color graded his Canon ADD uh, 2018 LUT? No, and I will guarantee you that because everyone has a different unique style. This is as close as I can get it, and I believe it looks very similar. I'm very happy with it. I hope you guys are as well. Once again, I left his link in the description. Go check it out. Go purchase his LUTs. They look amazing. And if you're ever so inclined, this LUT is actually completely free on my website. I'll leave the link right in the description, right there. 
go check it out. I actually have my own Moody preset LUTs if you guys want to check those out as well. We're chasing the easy life. Very cheap, five US dollars. Go let me know what you think. Peace.